All right, so this problem says, which of the following is equivalent to one minus P times one plus P plus P squared? I'm not gonna read all that, but you get the point. Um, and so these problems, you can really just go ahead and you know multiply everything out, but that's just gonna take way too much time when you're you know low on time on the SAT, you're just not gonna have time for that. So you have to recognize patterns. So you can see here that all the answer choices have a coefficient of one in there. And that makes sense because you know one times one is just one and no other values will give you just a coefficient by itself. Everything else will be in terms of P. And now we actually have to determine what that P value is, right? So if I have this one and I distribute it to all these values, I'm gonna get one times one, I'm gonna get one times P, one times P squared. So you can see that all this right now is just gonna be my final value, right? Everything is just gonna multiply by one and therefore that is what I'm gonna be left with. So currently I have all these P values on the, uh, in red right here. And so now what I have to recognize is that all these are positive values of P, but my answer choices are negative values of P. And that's because I need to account for this second variable here, this negative P, right? I have to distribute it out to everything. So when I distribute it out to the one, I get a negative P, right? When I distribute it to the positive P, I get a negative P squared. And so I'm always going to have one value above the positive value, right? So what I mean by that is when I distribute this out, I'm going to get a negative P distribute, I get negative P squared and I get negative P times positive P squared. That's going to give me negative P to the third. And so when you compare the powers, you can see that here, this is a power of one. This is a power of two. Here is the power of two. So now it's a power of three. So it's always going to be one above it. All right. So if I just count the number of variables I have, I can uh, find my final value. So this right here is one pair. So that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, and that's seven. And therefore I know my final answer here is going to be B.